Tonight, 33,000 Boeing workers have walked off the job after overwhelmingly rejecting the latest contract offer. The aerospace company's first strike in 16 years is expected to halt production at plants in Seattle and Portland, Oregon. CBS's Carter Evans reports from the picket line. The vote was overwhelming. 96% of Boeing union workers want to walk the picket line. I'm from CBS News. At the Renton, Washington plant, where they build the 737, we met Jerry Tomlinson, Donnie Lewisburg, and Thomas Doyle. We're going to be doing as long as it takes to get a fair contract. The union is demanding a 40% increase in wages and restoration of their pensions. Boeing offered 25% and extra 401k contributions. The company says machinists who make about $75,000 a year would be making six figures by the end of the new contract. But workers on the picket line say those increases are based on wages that were negotiated 16 years ago. We just want a fair share of the pot. In the Seattle area, where the median cost for a home is more than $800,000, these union workers say Boeing just doesn't pay enough. Some people in my shop, have to they work 12 hours a day, seven days a week to make a living. At a conference today, Boeing Chief Financial Officer Brian West said the company is focused on restoring our trust with our people and the union, but added the strike will jeopardize our recovery. The production halt of Boeing's best-selling planes comes as the company is already facing a string of safety issues, including two 737 crashes, a door ripped off mid-flight, and a spacecraft that stranded astronauts. I absolutely love working for Boeing. I mean, it's a phenomenal company. We just need to make some adjustments is all. Now, the strike will not affect commercial air travelers, but it could definitely impact Boeing's bottom line. The company already has about $60 billion in debt, and one analyst suggests a lengthy strike, Nora, could cost another $3 billion. It's a big story. Carter Evans, thank you for being there.